Hey guys! Today we're going to be making some shrimp fried rice, so I really hope you'll enjoy. As always, if you enjoyed these videos and want to see more, definitely give the video a thumbs up and let me know if you have any food requests in the comments. To make the shrimp, you want to start out with a mixture of white and translucent. Then cut off a small piece and roll it into a long teardrop shape. You can then give it the desired shape. Cut and place some thin strips of clay for the tail. And you can then use a needle tool to add the texture. I first made some lines, then took the side of the needle tool and pushed down the clay in between each of the lines. And lastly, added some texture to the head, or at least what's left of the head. If you have any questions about the tools and materials I use, I always link my video about it in the info box. In the info box, you'll also be able to find a video about baking and stuff like that. And while we're at it, if you're new to this channel, I do recommend that you read the blog post I've linked in the info box as well. In that post, I go through the videos I'm going to be posting on here and not going to be posting. Once you're done, you can pre-bake. After pre-baking, I mixed up some paint to create the two basic shapes I used for the shading. I first went in with the lighter shade and used this to basically blush the back of the shrimp. And I then use the darker shade to create some more fine detail, as well as paint the tail. And you want to make sure to water down the paint so it's not as thick and opaque as it usually would be. After doing this, I chose to seal it with a glass glaze. Obviously, if you're going to be using these in some miniature food, you don't have to do this yet. The reason why I chose to do it at this point is so that you can see the finished shrimp a bit better. To make the rice, you can take the same color you used for the shrimp, roll out a super thin snake, cut out a small piece, roll it slightly, and repeat. And yes, this is going to take quite a while, but I do think the finished result is worth it. You can then take the rice and put them into a bowl or on a plate. And for the bowl I did fill out part of it with clay, because there's no point in making rice you're not gonna see. You can then begin placing some of the shrimp, which is again going to allow you to make less rice. Honestly, I think the plain rice and the shrimp looks really good just like this. So if you made this and then maybe with some soy sauce on the side, it would make for another really cute miniature arrangement. For the vegetables, I chose to keep it super simple, so I first made some peas using this fresh green. For these, you just want to roll out some tiny balls and then place them in the bowl. And since peas aren't completely round, you also want to add some texture using a pointy dotting tool. And if you want to make some more vegetables than what I included in this video, you can check out my stir-fry tutorial.
For the carrots, I chose to cut them into small cubes, so I just flattened a piece of clay, cut some strips, and then cut these into small pieces. Then place these in the bowl together with the rest and if you want you can also take some small pieces of green and orange clay and place them in between the rice. Lastly I cut some thin slices of the same green I used for the peas and then place these on top to look kind of like chopped herbs. Once you're happy with the look, you can pre-bake. And then after pre-baking, I added some shading to the greens using green acrylic paint. I then mixed up some Fimo Deco Gel and Soft Pastel to look kind of like a sauce or spices and then brushed this onto the dish. After baking, finish off with some glass glaze. To make some super quick chopsticks, take a toothpick and then use a file to shape it. Then simply cut it at the length you want. I also made a quick placemat and for this I took a sheet of some greenish clay, used my blade to make some lines and then baked. After baking I first painted it using acrylic paint. I then glued on some fabric to the top and bottom. Added a tiny bit of the same tan paint I used for the placemat. And then finally glued on a piece of tan thread in the center. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next tutorial.